Corneo? Corneo? The Corneo? The dawn outstayed his welcome in Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. Muscle Head Coliseum will host an epic contest for the Aha! Found him! Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm. He doesn't look quite right. Hmm. Well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery. That the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order. My ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo land. Training hard and getting those games. What's up, party people? What's up? Hey. It's a challenge from the dark. Kind and lower. Give the people what they want. Take it in a piece. But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was lamenting my lot in life when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed. You have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great! I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then.
You alright there? How's it going? Not so good. I had no idea you were into songwriting. Oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, good for you. Never know till you try. They say curiosity killed the cat. Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because she'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh... Promise not to tell? <gasps> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Huh? Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what this scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Zack, did you see? They're blooming. 
Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. <sighs> hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on him while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. <laughs> no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> Don't let her, please. I won't. about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's, it's up, up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because an avalanche, I think I've found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's gotta be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. <laughs> Take care, Biggs. No, I didn't... That's not what I meant! <clears throat> Gotta find Elmira. Those are some pillow marks. You must have been out like a light. You know, there's a showing of Loveless about to start. And I've got two tickets to it. We should go. Plus, you and I have unfinished business. Wait, what? The Skywheel, silly. Remember, we didn't get to ride it before. What about the others? Forget about them. For now, anyway. Oh. Theater, we're tonight. We proudly present. 
Adventures. Our special showing of Loveless Dew Edition will begin shortly. We All tickets hurry, over. Huh? Please make your way to the theater. Are you here to see Loveless? Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? a star.
mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat and gears. The City of Gargan. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbours on all sides fell victim to its hunger, while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Malfoy was the traveller's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. To proceed, or not to proceed? These bars shall not hold me. I must fly free. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Rosa, how did you find me? Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. Shall she guide my place? <laughs> Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon drone!
show. Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then. Ah, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is the future if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. May my infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. Enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is, indeed, such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. I love. Alfred. Ah, face the charade. Love is not but an illusion. Goddess above, let my blade strike true.
bereft of wings and broken. I consign you to the abyss. An inspiring victory, truly. Proof that love indeed conquers all, is it not? <laughs> what awaits you at journey's end, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break, and you can dance no more. Alfred, look. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here.
Go on. an experience. Could even call it life-changing. Guess so. Maybe you ought to go pro. You know, I just might. Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Uh-oh. We gotta hurry. Last call, folks! Thank you for joining us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the magic this evening, you're invited to use your tickets to the show for one free ride on the Skywheel. Enjoy a stunning view of the gold saucer and the dazzling night sky. What do you think this does? Seems nothing like that. Well, you would know.
isn't it? You surprised me at first. You were just like him, and... It wasn't your face or your clothes. It was you. The way you walked. The way you carried yourself. Whenever I looked at you, I saw him. But you're not him. And that's okay. Because right now, I want to be with you. And I'm trying so hard to find you. But I'm right here. Yeah, you are. But... Hey. Did Tifa talk to you? About, um... Hey, um, Aerith? I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers Zack. <gasps> How they were friends five years ago. What? I don't think so. At least, not about anything important. Oh. for tonight you're welcome but I didn't do anything <laughs> wall market warriors you and me we'll show them tomorrow yeah Disclosure, didn't know anything about this promised land. But I do now, and seriously, wow, find of the century. You never know, that intel could be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. It's safe to assume the temple and the promised land are one and the same. If the ancients headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. Good thing we let her go. I understand the keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. How should we proceed? I have an idea. Let's bring this one home. 